Hello, happy to see you all. Today we are cooking a goosey soup, a rich and savory West African soup made with ground melon seeds. To kickstart this dish, I'll begin by blending our meat seasoning, which includes parsley, red onion, garlic, ginger, and a small amount of water. To prepare the meat, I'll combine the blending seasoning, salt, all-purpose seasoning, and a stock cube, which I accidentally forgot to capture on camera. I'll leave the meat on low to medium heat, allowing it to simmer. I won't add water at this stage because I want the spices to infuse deeply into the meat. Once the meat has cooked slightly, I'll introduce some pre-cooked assorted meats, such as cow foot in formal. Next, add small amount of water, cover this, and let it cook until soft. While the meat is cooking, let's turn our attention to the sauce. In the blender, I'll combine red peppers, tomatoes, onion, scotch bonnet, pepper, and ginger. Give it a quick blend and then set it aside. Now that the meat is cooked, I'll place it on a tray to grill. In a pot, I'll add palm oil with onions and fry until they caramelize. Once the onions are tender, I'll add some locust beans, let it fry briefly before adding the blended tomatoes and pepper mix. And I'll allow the tomato to fry for about 15 minutes. Now let's blend the melon seed, which is known as the kusi. and add the blended red onion to the goosey paste. Mix thoroughly until they are well combined. Now that the tomato sauce has cooked and it's putting on its smoky magic show, apologies for the drama. I will now add some snail, which is optional, ground crayfish, and allow it to fry for one minute or so. I will also add the meat, which I've grilled, and pour in the meat stock. Give it a good mix and let it simmer for a few minutes. Next, I'm going to add the goosey paste in small chunks. Cover this and allow it to cook on a low to medium heat for 15 to 20 minutes. Once the goosey is now cooked, I will add some macro fish. This is optional. Next, proceed to add in the blanched spinach. Give it a good stir and allow it to simmer for five minutes. All the ingredients used to prepare this dish will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out. And after about five minutes, the goosey soup is ready. I'm going to serve this with pounded yam, but the goosey can also be paired with your choice of swallow. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any query regarding this recipe and I'll be more than happy to respond to them. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy cooking.